If you want the best golf experience that you can get in VR, then getting a golf grip is pretty much a no-brainer. However, not all golf grips are created equal. So here we have the Hallareal Pro Swing Plus version 2.0 golf grip for your Quest 2 and your Quest Pro controllers. This is the latest version of the golf grip that adds some much needed changes, but is it enough to make it worth buying? Welcome to my tech gear, let's get into it. So this comes fully assembled in the box and attaching this to your controller is super easy. All you need to do is take the wrist strap that's here and thread it through the hole that's at the bottom of this controller holder here. Thread it all the way through and then push the controller in to make sure that it's actually in place. Now take the edge of this wrist strap that's here, hook it around the end that's here. Make sure you push this little bit all the way up so it's out of the way. Push the strap through the bottom there and then twist and it's now completely twisted up and it's now locked in place. This is now definitely, definitely not coming out. To actually undo this though, it is super easy. Just push this down, twist anti-clockwise, and it comes undone. Unhook the strap from the edge, and then just pull your controller out. <laughs> and, then, and then your battery compartment pops off. Um, but it's super easy to take in and take out. The golf grip here is really well made, nice and wide, plenty of length here for any type of golf grip that you have. The controller holder at the top here is ambidextrous as well, so it will take both the left and right controller of your Quest. So if you've got left and right-handed people in the house, then it's gonna work for both of you. The controller top up here is also injection molded, so it's super strong and really well made. Again, this is an upgrade from their version one version as that was 3D printed. This one now isn't. Now this is the plus version of the Pro Swing with the added weight. So if I take the weight of the grip here and the weight of the controller, it totals up to about 530 grams or 1.2 pounds. Now, if I compare that to a real golf club, the average weight of the average golf club is 0.73 pounds or about 331 grams. So it is heavier than the average golf club. Kind of needs to be though, because the weight is closer to your arm. So it needs to be heavier to mimic the weight of a golf club being further away. Color wise, you can get this in all white, all black, or the red and black version that I've got here. Now let's get into some game testing. So now we're on Golf Plus, and the first thing we need to do is go into the settings and set up the controller so that it recognizes this golf grip. So in the settings of the game under controls, you've got these controller attachment settings here for many of the common golf grip accessories that you can get, and here's Hello Real. So I've already got that selected. Now that puts your controller in exactly the right position for where it's gonna be on the handle. So if I'm holding this here, the controller's out here, even though my hands are back. Holding the golf club is really easy. Doesn't matter what your grip is in golf, there's plenty of room and length in this grip here. But as far as a golf experience goes of feeling like you're playing golf, it absolutely fits the bill. Now you can have as much practice as you like in golf plus. Oh, where did that go? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to go there. Whilst people say you don't have to adjust your golf swing for this, I definitely think you do, because if you put your swing behind your head, the camera can't see the controller anymore. So you do have to kind of swing your head just a little bit so the camera can still see the controller. So there you go. One disclaimer for this is do make sure when you play with this that you give yourself plenty of room because you need a fair bit of room in your room, wherever you're playing it, to make sure that you don't smack well your ceiling or your tv or a window <laughs> so yeah just give yourself plenty of space so now i'm going to go and quickly jump into uh, walkabout mini golf so now we're in walkabout mini golf and the first thing you need to do is set up this controller grip accessory so you go into settings go to calibrate custom grip which is down here now when you hold down the trigger button you just want to put it such that your controller is in the right place relative to where the rest of the controller grip is itself. So probably about there. Now your controller grip is in exactly the right place and your controller is in the right place too. That's super easy to do. Now pretty much the same deal as Golf Plus. <laughs> that was so close. Um, in that it is super realistic makes the game just feel so much more golf-like. Just makes it feel more fun. The grip on this is really good. You don't have to hold the handle too tight to get a good grip. It's a nice length. It's a really good weight as well. 
Um, if you haven't played either of these games, either you want the realistic golf experience, or you want something a little bit more casual like Walkabout Mini Golf, both of these are games that I would thoroughly recommend. Um, one thing to... <laughs> Sorry, my cat has decided to just lie straight in front of me. Another good thing about this grip accessory is that it has hot swappable handles. So you can actually undo this golf grip here. And then if you wanted to go buy like their tennis racket handle, you could go buy that and then swap that for this and vice versa. So should you buy it? Well, if you've already bought the previous version of this, then I'd say probably not because it is still fundamentally exactly the same design. It is just now built better. However, if the hot swappable handles or the ambidextrous design at the top is important to you, then it might be worth upgrading. For everybody else though, if you really want the best golf experience in VR, then this absolutely fits the bill. It is $55 for the non-weighted Pro Swing version and $60 for the Pro Swing Plus weighted version that I have here. And that weight really makes a difference in making it feel like you're holding an actual golf club. So that's a good price as far as VR golf accessories go. If you use the purchase links down below and use code MYTECHGEAR, you will get an extra 5% off. If you're a more casual gamer and want an accessory that's going to serve more than one purpose, then I definitely recommend checking out this video up here. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.